Bollinger Bands work by drawing a moving average onto the chart and then placing lines of standard deviation above and below the moving average. The three lines form a channel that will theoretically contain the largest probable percentage of price movement. The distance between upper and lower Bollinger Bands indicates the current level of market volatility. The further apart the bands are, the more volatile the market. A more narrow distance indicates a period of relative calm. Let's look at the parameters that define the Bollinger Band. Source defines whether open, high, close or low values are used to create the moving average. Periods is the number of time periods calculated for the moving average. The number of standard deviations to be added to and subtracted from the moving average defined here will affect the distance of the upper and lower bands from the moving average. MA type defines the type of moving average that will be used. Bollinger bands are used in a number of ways to determine price signals and forecast of price movement. In ranging markets, Bollinger Bands are used as an overbought, oversold indicator, triggering buy signals when price touches the lower band and sell signals when price touches the upper band. In trending markets, buy and sell signals occur when the price moves across the moving average in the direction of the trend. When the price deviates extremely from the moving average, this can be a good indication for take profits and a chance to identify major emitment reversals. Finally, Bollinger Bands are widely used to spot breakouts, usually when there is a sharp, steep movement after the bands have been contracted for a sustained period of time.